Welcome back. It just might be the coolest podcast on the All Indiana Podcast Network. The Behind the Bricks podcast pulls back the curtain on Indianapolis Motor Speedway, giving us a close-up look at the racing capital of the world. The host of Behind the Bricks, Doug Bowles, also happens to be the president of Indianapolis Motor Speedway, and we're pleased to have Doug with us this morning on Lifestyle Live. This podcast, the latest edition, is a real departure. You go down into the bowels of, of the speedway, and um, I didn't know there's a creek down there. Absolutely. So we have a dry run ditch creek that actually comes from the northwest side and works its way under turn one and then comes back out between turns one and turns two. So we decided let's work our way through and take a look at it in this episode. And, and that creek has been really important over the years at the Speedway, and it used to be visible. And then we buried it several years ago, so we thought let's see what it looks like now that it's been buried. And, and those changes were made in order to... Uh change the the curvature of the track yeah absolutely and what it was is we were trying to get ready for moto gp that came in 2008 and in order to do that we needed to build racetrack inside oval turn one and the only way you could do that was to bury the creek so we moved the creek a little bit buried it and it's, it's still underneath there and we uh, decided to go uh, go checking it out on that note let's take a clip from the behind the bricks podcast so in the springtime this water could get up where it's virtually uh, over my shoulders for sure That would be another part of an old Indianapolis Motor Speedway break. I'm a swimmer, but I don't want to go swimming. Fantastic. And you, you and I were talking just a moment ago. You're having a lot of fun uh, exploring the place where you work, right? Yeah, absolutely. And that's the great thing about the Speedway. It's a fun place, and there's so much history. We'll be 114 years old in March. And most of those bricks have been there since 1909, right? And actually, we picked a few bricks up, which I did. I was really surprised to actually find pieces of the actual brick in the racetrack. But then people don't know all these cool stories. So the race car drivers on that two-and-a-half-mile oval, they cross six tunnels and two places where water go under the racetrack, eight, eight places they go over every lap. So it's, it's a lot of fun to talk about, about those things that people just don't know when they see the racing happening. Uh, every time you guys come on the show, I'm always surprised at all the stuff that's happening at the Speedway. But right now, we really are kind of gearing down for the winter. We are. We had our last on-track activity on November 9th, and right now we're winterizing the 3,000-plus fixtures that we have, making sure everything's ready to withstand the winter in outdoor uh, outdoor uh, venues. So we have to do that, and we'll start turning things back on in January, February, and really activity begins sometime in early March. So that's what we do now. And then our team is rebuilding things, fixing things that we don't have time to do when we've got customers at the Speedway all the time. Sounds like a topic for a future podcast. We have one coming up. It's a good one coming. All right. He is Doug Bowles, the president of Indianapolis. Motor Speedway.